Robux. Everyone wants it. But a few people sit at the top with billions of Robux. What are their secrets? What are they hiding? How can you do the same thing? Today, we're going to go into the secrets of earning Robux, the formulas, the equations, the principles that no one else is talking about. These are some things that have helped me to gain over 2 million Robux. And I'm not saying that to brag, I'm saying that to show you the world of possibilities from these secrets that no one else talks about. And I'm also going to shatter some myths about earning Robux so that you can get on the fast track to success on Roblox. First, let's talk about leverage. What is leverage? Well, this simple game from Jimmy Games is called Sussy Imposter Land, and it has almost 8 million visits and has made us millions of Robux. Now, compare this to some of my more complex games, right? I have made some games like Camping Simulator in this group called Volt Gaming Studios. I mentioned this in a recent video. And we never finished it. We never dropped this game. Well, at least never in its full state. And it never got really any visits. And other things. So I tried making The Hinge in this group too. The Hinge was this cool horror game with this like, this creature that would go around the map trying to attack you. It's kind of like a classic jump scare game on Roblox, right? The thing about this is, these more complex projects and the game, the games that had a lot more huge ideas, huge plans, they never managed to really get off the ground. Why? Well, because in the world of Roblox, a lot of the times, less is more. Simplicity is going to get you a lot farther. You should use leverage. Put the least amount in to get the most amount out. It's kind of like working smart, not harder. It's the same principle. But I believe you should maximize both. Work the smartest you can, have the most leverage, get the most multiplier on what you do in the outputs that you get. But this just shows how simpler projects, how even the most weird of ideas can succeed on Roblox, and oftentimes will. Now let me hit you with another hard truth. Action and speed always trump planning every single time. I have seen so many devs spend months, even years, planning the perfect game, making the perfect game. But here's the issue. Well, they're stuck in planning endlessly, other devs are dropping games really fast, learning from feedback and growing, not looking at things as failure, seeing it as feedback and making their next game. I discussed this in a lot of my recent videos about how to make an MVP, a minimum viable product, which is the bare bones, absolute minimum version of your game that is playable and fun and has a bit of monetization. If you can do this, you're going to be able to get out more concepts, get out more projects, test what works, and build and build and build on the ones that do better, and then have a success. Remember my recent videos where I showed you how to make a simple game? That is the exact kind of action that I'm talking about. Quick, effective, and gets results. Next, earning Robux is not just about game design and complex scripting and complex modeling and the best build. It's often not even about that. You can see like some of the most ridiculous games on Roblox get the most players. Well, some amazingly complex, high quality games or good looking games have absolutely no players. They're sitting there at the bottom of search. Nobody ever sees them. These games, people always point them out like, why are these games not getting visits? Well, business. The next point is business. You heard me right. Business. Cold, hard business. You gotta understand the economics of Roblox, the psychology of your players, and how to market your game. And for this, you'll want to step outside of the Roblox bubble. You'll want to look outside of it because it's limiting. See, what I've done is I've been looking into business a ton. And as I watched these videos, right, I was watching like Alex Ramosi, Myron Golden, and a whole bunch of other business YouTubers, and also reading books. And then suddenly I realized, wait, this is amazing. This is just what you need. And not that many people really know about business concepts in the Roblox community. They don't really realize that people like Alex Ramosi, Myron Golden, Dan Ko, among tons of other business YouTubers, can share insights that literally can blow up your Roblox game and nobody else on Roblox even knows what they are. 
These guys are going to give you insights on mindset and money that no one in the Roblox space really talks about. A lot of people tell me, you know, you're the best at like giving good mindsets in the Roblox space. Modern Chris even said, Smarty has the best mindset on Roblox. And hey, I appreciate that, but a lot of my mindset is coming from these millionaire entrepreneurs. I'm learning from them and I'm sharing it for you here. But I also recommend going straight to the source. Of course, I have my own ideas, right? But a lot of this stuff that I'm learning comes from these types of people and these types of business books too. And they've been absolutely complete paradigm shifts for me, right? And they're gonna open your eyes to what's possible as well. You'll begin to connect the dots on how you can apply it to Roblox. Remember the principle of leverage in the first point? Yeah, that was from Alex Hermosi. Alex Hermosi teaches a ton of topics on business and he is amazing, probably the best business YouTuber out there. And people in the Roblox community are absolutely sleeping on the ability to apply this to Robux, games, all kinds of stuff. Now, let's get into the details on the next point. The mindset for success. This is where most people get stuck. They have these limiting beliefs, beliefs that stop them from doing things about what's possible in Roblox and what's possible for themselves in general. But here's what you need to understand. Your mindset is your biggest asset in all things. It's about framing and reframing your thoughts, setting large goals, even larger than what you think might be possible and then visualizing your success. These might sound like cliches and obvious things. You probably heard it a million times, but actually you hear it because it works. So let me break it down for you. Your brain has this thing called the reticular activating system, and it's like a filter that lets you focus on what's important. So when you set goals and when you visualize them, you're actually programming your subconscious and to recognize opportunities that align with your goals. It's powerful. So the second that you start visualizing, setting goals, you're instantly going to realize that your brain is going to start seeing the information you need to hit those goals. It's pretty crazy, right? You're going to start seeing Roblox game ideas in your day-to-day -day life. And a specific time where you've used the reticular activating system is if your parents have ever gotten a new car or you've had a car that you really were interested in. Like I know I really like Mustangs. You'll begin to see that car everywhere you go. It's kind of crazy. That is your reticular activating system. And it proves that it works. It's powerful stuff. And it's not just about positive thinking, as you can see. It's about literally programming your subconscious. It's literally about aligning your actions with your goals, too. Because your actions come from your belief. And you can't just dream about success. You have to actually take action. Take me, for example. When I started my channel, and when I started, when I started making games, when I started making builds, starting to learn scripting, I had nothing but just a dream and a willingness to work hard. So... Look where it got me, right? I have a large YouTube channel. I teach people about the things I've learned from taking commissions, getting millions of visits, growing my Roblox YouTube channel. And you can do the same thing, really. You could even outcompete me, but you gotta be literally relentless. You have to force it to happen in a way. Next, let's talk about other mindset techniques that are insanely powerful, right? So let's say that you believe that you're not smart enough to learn scripting or you're not smart enough to learn roblox studio well what we have to do is we need to reframe this we need to look at this from a different perspective and by doing this we can actually begin to see things we couldn't before so anytime you have a limiting belief like that or a limiting thought just change it change it around and say how can i learn script how can i learn roblox studio you could also ask have there been times where I've learned things in the past successfully that were hard? And I can guarantee you, if you learned to walk as a little kid, you did definitely learn something hard. Now, once you begin to break down this statement, now what we want to do is we want to find the positive statement, the opposite of what we said. So if you said, I'm not smart enough to learn scripting, you want to say, you know what, I am smart. And then what we can do is we can repeat this affirmation. We can say, I am smart. You can say that consistently to yourself. And what this does is it's also going to change the belief in your subconscious over time. But the reason why a lot of people don't like this technique or don't trust it or don't think it works is because they do this for a little bit and it just sounds cringe. But the thing is, they didn't give it enough time to break down and replace the old belief in their head. You have to keep doing it over and over and eventually it switches and now you believe you're smart. It's kind of crazy. Now, I want to leave you with a few closing thoughts. Remember, the path to success in Roblox is 
not linear. You're gonna face challenges, you're gonna face setbacks, and yeah, even failures. But it's not about like how many times you fall down and fail. It's about how many times you actually try again, how many times you see that failure as feedback. And when you see failure as feedback, you always can keep pushing forward because you're always gonna see new things. You're gonna learn things from it. You're gonna see things that you couldn't see before when you were blocking your brain by just believing it was complete failure. And remember to have fun, fun is key. Fun is the cheat code to making anything hard, not hard, makes it play, right? <laughs> so yeah, click the video on screen if you wanna learn more about mindset, more about earning Robux, more about unlocking powerful techniques like these and beginning to think like a millionaire entrepreneur but in the world of Roblox. See you in the next video.